Is this thing on? Yes, I think so. I only have one shot at this. Hello adventurers, my name is Diogo Guerra and this is Off-Road Of Course. And if you follow my channel, you know how much I hate having my feet wet. So today, it's with great personal pleasure that I bring you a game-changing product, one that has made soggy boots a problem of the past. Waterproof socks. Waterproof socks? That's like a talking fish that can do your taxes. It doesn't exist. I hear you, I hear you, but I will have you know, my dear skeptical friends, that these things really work. Please observe. These socks I'm wearing today are from an American brand called Randy Sun. And they are right now looking for new distributors around Europe, so this could be an opportunity for you fellow entrepreneurs out there. So let's see what's inside that really soaked up waterproof sock we have dry as a bone inside socks. Wow, unbelievable. All right, let's try a more visual kind of demonstration. Into the bucket, let's really <laughs> move it inside. Let's press it down the bottom. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have here. completely dry. And for my final trick, nothing, zero, no moisture. So what's the catch? There must be one, certainly. Are they too hot or are they too thick or do they smell like a gym locker after you wear them for half an hour? Well, there are certainly some bueno things and things that are not so bueno. Let's talk about them. One of the things that are bueno is how comfortable these socks are. They are a tight fit, but they don't feel plasticky at all. And after you put them on, you don't feel anything weird down there. The secret is Randy Sun's three-layer design, where the inside layer has a high percentage of merino wool, then a middle layer that is both waterproof and somehow super breathable, and finally a high resistance outer layer that is very elastic. The result is a very tight but comfortable sock that despite being obviously thicker than a regular sock, doesn't feel warm. In fact, I even felt a bit too cold on my feet on some of the coldest mornings this winter. And the best part, no smelly feet. Thanks to the inside merino wool layer, I was told. Nevertheless, I use a little trick, which I'm not even sure if it's a trick or it's just stupid, which is to use a normal sock inside the waterproof socks. And my reasoning is that this way, any sweat or any smell will get caught by the inner sock, thus leaving these ones fresh and usable for days in a row. And so far, it has been working. Another bueno thing that's specially useful for my off-road tours is that uh, these socks are sort of a bad weather insurance. Randy Sun was kind enough to send a bunch of these, so now the lucky adventurers that come to my tours can test these for free. And this means that if we get our boots wet throughout the day, we don't need to worry about drying them in the evening. We can just, next morning, wear these bad boys and off we go. And now let's talk about the things that are not so bueno. And the first one, I call it the Schrodinger's wet feet. And what I mean by that is that even though these socks never fail to keep your feet dry, if there's enough water inside your boots, you can definitely feel it sloshing around, causing a little bit of doubt in your mind. So only after you remove the boots and check for yourself, you can be 100% certain that the feet are actually dry. Hence the name. Schrodinger's wet feet. 
The second not so bueno thing is that these things are waterproof, which means that you need to hand wash them on both sides, outside and inside. And then when you need to dry them, you have to dry them on the inside and then on the outside. So there's a little, little bit of extra work here. Still 100 times easier and faster than trying to dry your boots on those disposable hair dryers they have in hotel rooms. What? What do you mean they are not disposable? Lastly, and this is something Randy Sun never stops talking about on their website, is that you should be really careful about getting Velcros close to your socks. And, and the problem is, boots have Velcros themselves. So if the Velcro touches the, the outer layer, it will begin, like, it, it, it will get fussy. And it's not a problem, it's not gonna stop being waterproof, but it just doesn't look this good. So be careful with this. Now, some of you must be wondering, why would you use waterproof socks when you could use waterproof boots? And it's a great question. Uh, I think that waterproof boots, first of all, they are much more expensive than normal boots. And secondly, I don't really believe they stay that waterproof for that long, especially if you use them intensely. And especially if you don't spend half an hour moisturizing them with essential oils and unicorn wax every time you ride. Besides, even with waterproof boots, water can still come in from the top. Speaking of which, Randy Sun includes with their socks these cuff seals that are supposed to uh, mitigate that problem. So, according to Randy Sun, the trick is to stretch these things all the way. What usually happens is that whenever water touches this, uh, like the inside layer, it just soaks up the whole thing. And I think that's the purpose of these cuff seals is exactly to prevent that. We undo the thing, we remove the sock, it feels, it feels dry. I'm optimistic. Yep. Uh. I cornered myself into a, a watery minefield. I think I will, <coughs> I will use the socks. Yes, do, do the thing. Ah, amazing. Overall, I am super happy with these socks uh, and I'm either riding with them or at least I am carrying them on my backpack, you know, just in case. And I recommend that you guys do the same. If you want to buy these socks, you can do it right now on uh, Randy Sun's official website soon on stores around Europe and I remind you that you can become a distributor yourself if you want to and as soon as they have an Amazon store I'm gonna share an affiliate link in the description for both our conveniences. Well guys and now I am done. I hope that you enjoyed the video and if so please consider clicking this one. It's the one that YouTube's algorithm thinks it's the best for you and as usual please don't forget to like, to subscribe, to hit the thingy and to share. See you next week and happy rides! Mm -hmm.